Hello, this is Dane Tagashi from VentureBeat. I'm here with Bob Allen at uh, IBM Zamaden Research Center, and we're in an interesting lab here. Uh, Bob, tell us about it. Well, this lab has been used for many years to explore new materials for uh, printing semiconductor chips. Mm -hmm. um, have done a lot of work in uh, inventing the ways people uh, print the semiconductors, their so-called photoresists, mm -hmm. been used all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we got very interested about five years ago in how water interacts with these kind of materials. Mm -hmm. And you might ask why um, a way of extending the printing fidelity and resolving power of uh, these very complex printing tools mm -hmm. is to actually immerse underwater, believe it or not, the silicon wafer, the coated silicon wafer during the exposure step. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you need to learn how to control the wetting angle, the mm -hmm. wettability of the materials being exposed. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, we developed a completely new class of materials that is really uh, enabled volume production, very high quality volume production of semiconductors that are found... Uh, save, save the chip industry for, uh, well, for more years of Moore's Law, right? Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> so, that's uh, good, that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so we got very interested, actually incredibly yeah. interested in how water interacts with polymer materi polymeric materials. Mm -hmm. And then there's this, these uh, applications of tremendous societal importance, uh, desalination, water purification, wastewater reclamation, mm -hmm. water is mm -hmm. essential, uh, getting clean water is essential for the growing population of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought that there was some uh, really amazing things that could be done mm -hmm by exploiting this materials expertise we have. And so we converted this lab that we're standing in today mm -hmm. into a, a water membrane characterization facility, the mm -hmm. Almaden water membrane characterization facility. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, really a state-of-the-art um, uh, place that we can take mm -hmm. exotic new materials and mm -hmm. see how they desalinate seawater, mm -hmm. for example. And you've got like a roll of a membrane right here, right? Yeah, this is uh, a roll of so-called flat sheet membrane uh -huh. that can be wound into uh, spiral wound modules. Uh -huh. uh, and something like this you would find at, uh, at the local water treatment plant, not in this form, but in a, in, in a, in a spiral wound module form. Uh -huh. This is the starting point for us making uh -huh. new materials. We actually coat our new materials on top of this mm -hmm. stuff. And then we can take it over here. Mm -hmm. after Actually, you have a picture, picture right here, yeah. right? Uh, this close up of. Exactly. Right so, what you're looking at yeah. is not the orange, but yeah. just the support web on top of the porous substrate. Yeah. And the chemical magic that we exercise here at Almaden allows us to grow up from that this very special orange mater material that mm -hmm. can separate uh, salt from water, for example. Mm -hmm. So you can take seawater, mm -hmm. pump it through these membranes, and coming out the other end will be fresh water. Mm -hmm. okay. And we have these nice French presses here. Yeah, right? this yeah. is like a French coffee press maker. Uh, yeah. coffee maker. This is something <laughs> called a dead-end filtration cell. Uh -huh. It's the first stop for a new material. Uh -huh. If we want to understand how effective it is at filtering uh, salt water, uh, how rapid the water comes through, those things, flux and, uh, and filtration efficiency are incredibly important and dependent on what the structure of the polymer material is that we coat on top of that mm -hmm. support web. Mm -hmm. um, and so we get information uh, simply by loading this with the membrane underneath, salt water or seawater or whatever kind of water we're, we're interested in, putting this on, putting the appropriate clip on, and then cranking up the pressure, and then uh, doing our measurement. Mm -hmm. And that gives us first pass some basic information. Is it really excellent? Mm -hmm. Is it very exciting? Or is it not so exciting or horrible? Mm -hmm. And we've <laughs> We've seen all of the above. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step uh, is let's get a little more serious. Mm -hmm. and so we come here over here 
These are made, uh, all of this equipment has been made at the Almaden Research Center in our tremendous model shop. Uh -huh. uh, these are called uh, cross-flow filtration apparatuses, or apparati, I guess you would say. Uh -huh. And it's all, of course, computer controlled. Uh -huh. We can take various solutions, put them uh, put the solutions, uh, seawater or a water loaded with uh, foulants, for uh -huh. example, or uh, brackish water, put them through these uh, modules. These uh -huh. modules contain a flat sheet, but the water flow is very similar to what it would be through a, a real industrial grade module. Uh -huh. And you get really, really um, outstanding data if you do everything correctly. Uh -huh. you control the temperature, for example. You get outstanding data as the uh, uh, salt water is filtered through and hopefully coming out as uh, fresh water down, down below. And we can drink this water down below. Right? Um, Ari might choose to drink it, but, uh, <laughs> or Dean, but uh, I think I will stay away from it. Right. I'm on a strict diet. Yeah. And they're very interested in this in places like Saudi Arabia, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, desalination is becoming really important. It already is in the Middle East, obviously, but uh -huh. it's becoming extremely important in, in much of the world. Australia, uh -huh. uh, Middle East, Africa, uh -huh. um, southwestern part of the United States. Actually, Southern uh -huh. California has lots of desalination plants, but it's not just seawater desalination. Uh -huh. um, there's a, uh, a need for uh, wastewater reclamation. I mean, all the uh, water that's coming to, going down our showers or washing machines, dishwashers, toilets, mm -hmm. can be reclaimed mm -hmm. and used for other purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, one, the last, actually, critical stage in doing that is membrane separation, where you separate all the nasties, mm -hmm. all the remaining nasties in water and what comes out of the other end is hyper-pure water. So mem membrane, mm -hmm. uh, the use of membrane technologies for many applications just mm -hmm. in the future is extremely important. So we think that materials innovation can really enable new applications. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of that Frank Herbert novel, Dune, I guess. When yes, you're exactly. You're getting everything you can out of water, I guess. Yeah, so maybe we should rename this lab uh -huh. Doom. <laughs> well, cool. Well. Uh, very interesting to go from a uh, chip making technology to water filtration. Yeah. Cool. We, Thank you, Richard. Yeah, mm -hmm. we try to leverage as much as we can in terms of uh, uh, materials technology for different applications. Mm -hmm. Great. That's Bob Allen at IBM. Thank you. You're welcome.